kidding. Grabe. Nahiya ko pa. It's fast, it's furious, and it's a worldwide icon. Our good friends from Ford Global City invited us today so we can check out the 2018 Ford Mustang. My name is James Velasquez, and you are watching The Wheel Deal. So we've reviewed several cars already, and now I am so excited to check out the 2018 Ford Mustang because this is a car that guarantees three things. Number one, speed. Number two, power. And number three, the cool factor. Anywhere around the world, once you hear the roar of the engine of the 2018 Ford Mustang, you already know that this is a car that means business. But for me personally, what I'm excited about for the 2018 Ford Mustang is all the tech that goes into this car. You already know how it performs, but all the tech that's going to be on it is something that will help you feel more comfortable when you drive or tech that will make you enjoy the drive, whether it's for the daily grind or for a fun weekend. The Ford Mustang has been around since the mid-1960s and since then, it's grown a steady following from sports car lovers around the globe. Now in its sixth generation, the Ford Mustang 2018 has gotten more notable improvements, securing the title of best-selling sports car in the market in the recent years. The Ford Mustang sold 150,000 units just in 2016 and in January 2018, it released an updated version with a stronger engine more advanced features, and a host of aesthetic and technology refinements that have captured the hearts of Mustang fanatics everywhere. It's always been a good-looking ride, no doubt about that, but the 2018 model has gotten a little bit of facelift here and there. And of course, with us today to help get to know this mean machine a little better, before we hit the streets, we have my good friend from Ford Global City, of course, senior sales consultant, Mr. Jericho Hanolo. What's up, my brother? Hi. Ready? Hi, James. Ready? Since we are showcasing the new 2018 Mustang, let me show you around. With the front, we retain the honeycomb grille for, mm -hmm. the, for the styling. All the lights right now, it's LED. Back then, it was just halogen. It's now LED, so it's more fuel efficient, more energy saving for the car. The style right off the hood, it's swooped down for more fuel efficiency. It has a low coefficient of drag. We redesigned or we tweaked the front end of the Mustang a bit for 2018. We brought back the hood vents so the engine would cool better, especially when you're driving around the Philippines. So this low swooping design now of the hood, it, does it make it more aerodynamic, especially when you're driving at the high speed? Yes, uh, when it comes to aerodynamics, well, we improve better from the previous model. Mm -hmm. This front end is swooped down a little lower, so at least the aerodynamics or the coefficient of drag was put to a very minimum. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the engine, nice. which is the heart of the Mustang. Let's go. Uh, underneath the hood is equipped with a 5.0 liter V8 engine. The horsepower has gone up again. Wow! It's it it's now rated at 460 horsepower. Nice. The torque is still at its best at 420 newton meters of torque. It's about it. It's still one of the most powerful sports cars in this class here in our country. So let me get this straight in basketball terms. If we combine speed and power, back then the three peat Lakers, the Shaq and Kobe Bryant. You combine Kobe's speed with Shaq's power, essentially you get the Ford Mustang 2018. It's like a 2K player. <laughs> it's like a 2K. I get it, I get it. We've seen the front, the engine, now we go to the sides. Yes, our car having Brembo brakes as standard. Ford got the brake specialist to install those on the standard Mustang because of the higher horsepower and the higher torque. You need better braking. Oh yeah, it so doesn't matter how fast you are if you can brake. The new Mustang showcases 19-inch ebony rims. It's 255 in width. The rears come in 275, so you have more grip. Nice. Yeah. I want to surprise okay. you with a bit. Surprise uh, me how? <laughs> I've seen how fast this can go. Let's say you're parked in a very dark area uh -huh. and you unlock the doors. Yeah. You'll see this. 
Ooh, okay, what's up? We, we call it the uh, pony projection lamps. What? So, it adds character. You call it aesthetic purposes, I call it pogi point. <laughs> So we're halfway through the six point walkthrough. I'm already impressed, but we're not done. We gotta take a look at the rear of the Ford Mustang 2018. What I can say about the rear of the Mustang 2018 is Ford still re retained the three bar tail lamps because mm -hmm. it's very iconic from the first generation. The GT badge is embedded already. Mm -hmm. This is the third brake light, and this is your reverse camera. Ford has already equipped with quad tip exhaust. Okay, so the cabin space now in the trunk, this is one of the things that makes it a car that you can use on a daily grind. So for your errands, for your groceries, you can certainly fit a lot of things in here. Yes, people were surprised when we op when we opened the, the trunk. They were thinking that it's really cramped. The trunk space of the Mustang has a lot more space than some of the compact SUVs that are being sold in the market right wow, now. Wow, okay, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, Jerry, so what's next? The fuel capacity of this one is around 16 gallons. So more than enough, let's say, for you to go to Baguio. Mm -hmm. And this comes with an easy fuel cap system. So gone are the days when we will have a mistake of putting the wrong fuel. Okay, so after the gasoline tank, what about security? I was surprised that Ford has put this feature on a Mustang. We call it the smart keyless entry system. Right. You don't have to use your remote keyless mm -hmm. uh, button that much so just to open and close the doors yeah uh, oh. hmm, sir james uh, how's the feel inside uh, the mustang i like it so far but what's your sixth point well, you're inside it. This is our six point. Okay. The interior. You've already seen the features of the vehicle, mm -hmm. but you'll appreciate it more if we do a test drive. So while we're driving around the area, I can explain the features okay. and you can operate it as well. Okay. Can we take the red one? It's there. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's oh, go. Let's, let's see, let's see. See. So before we finally hit the road, what sets the 2018 Ford Mustang different from the previous generation? It's more powerful by at least 30 horsepower. Uh, now it's equipped with a 10-speed transmission. Mm -hmm. uh, the previous model only have six gears, so you're more fuel efficient. At the same time, you're also more powerful. Okay, so you can actually change the sound of the exhaust. Ah, yeah, that's one of the nifty features of the 28 Mustang. There is a feature wherein you can change the sound of the exhaust. You have an option, you can call it quiet, uh -huh. or you can be loud if you want. You don't need to go to an aftermarket shop to change to change your exhaust just to make it loud. Mm. It comes right out of the box. Oh, because that's one of the uh, things that a lot of people say, na ingay naman ng coach na yan. So uh, now you have that option if you're passing through a neighborhood for it to be quiet. And then the driving modes, the different driving modes. Uh, can you t tell us a little something about that? For the Mustang, it, it, it has this uh, feature called drive mode. So you can, switching off the tab, you can switch from normal, you can go to sport, yeah. you can go to track, you can go to drag strip mode. I can actually feel the difference. Okay, so why the change now to the all digital dash? As you change drive mode, the, your instrumentation changes as well. If you if you're on sport mode, it's very important that you're that you're looking at your tachometer. Yeah. So that tachometer is a little larger than the normal size. So you yeah. would notice that you're already at that RPM level. Mm -hmm. And for track mode, which we're using it right now, the anal the, the analog speedometer becomes digital also. Ford is known for the SYNC 3 system, a system that uh, people here in our country really, really, really use. You have a phone, mm -hmm. you plug it in on the system, you can leave your phone down. The apps that appear on your phone will appear on the touchscreen. Wow, that's easy as that. 
And if you think these look cool, just wait until you see all the color options that you can have for your wheels. How many kilometers per liter can it uh, reach? Normally, a V8 engine could give you around three and a half kilometers per liter okay. metro city driving. Mm -hmm. That's the average, that's the norm. But with this one, since it has 10 gears, even if you drive in the city, you have your saving fuel already. Maybe this could give you a, probably around four and a half kilometers per liter in mm -hmm. the city. But on the highway, mm -hmm. you're really you're really fuel efficient because it will it will reach 10 gears easily. Wow. I love that roar. That roar anywhere in the world, you hear it and it'll turn heads. Thank you so much for ed educating me, bro. No problem, Let's enjoy sir. this drive. No problem, sir. Go ahead. Feel free. Man, okay, so now after we put this car to the test, it's time to give you guys some of my thoughts about the Ford Mustang 2018. I'm not the uh, biggest enthusiast out there. I'm not uh, a grease monkey that will know all the details, but I do know how to enjoy my sports car. And I definitely, definitely enjoy the Ford Mustang 2018. Is it something that you can drive every day? You know what? Duman ako sa mga lubak, sa humps, I barely felt it. I mean, it's not SUV level. Na pag nadaanan ko yung lubak, it's just like running over it and not really feeling the impact because this is still a sports car that's close to the ground. Um, great shock absorbers as well. Uh, there was still some level of comfort even though duman ako sa mga lubak. But is it something that I want to subject to the roads of Manila? No, because it's such a beautiful car. I don't want to keep using it on uneven roads or the harsh weather conditions, especially uh, come the rainy season when there might be flash floods here and there. So no, it's not something that I probably will try to use every day, maybe just on the weekend. Now we talked about the heritage of the Ford Mustang 2018. When you're looking to purchase a car like this, when you're looking to purchase an icon, you buy it because of the legacy. You buy it because of the heritage. You buy it because of the brand. Let's be honest about it. You buy it because you want to enjoy driving it. You buy it because you want to be seen driving it. And you buy it because you want to experience being on the road with a legit pony car. And uh, it being an icon, the Ford Mustang 2018, this is definitely still one of the best ever sports cars in the market. That ride was definitely something else. Before we wrap up, let's check back on all the notable features of the Ford Mustang 2018. Man, I can't lie, this car is straight up fire. And that wraps up another episode of The Wheel Deal. Hey, follow us on Facebook and of course on YouTube and all the social media accounts of philcocha.com. My name is James Velasquez. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Wheel Deal.